The collapse of Silicon Valley Bank last week was the second largest bank failure in the United States history. Its sudden insolvency set off a panic across the U.S. banking industry because SVB's failure exposed serious weaknesses that are shared by much of the rest of the U.S. banking sector. Had the Fed not intervened aggressively over the weekend, a significant portion of America's banks would have failed this week, crippling the U.S. economy. In this video, we'll examine what has happened and what the repercussions could be. Here's why Silicon Valley Bank failed. SVB's deposits soared during 2020 and 2021 as the stimulus checks the government sent out to individuals and businesses were deposited into commercial banks, including SVB. The bank invested significant amounts of those deposits in long-term government bonds and long-term mortgage-backed securities. When the Fed began raising interest rates in 2022, those bonds lost value. That wouldn't have been a problem for SVB if it, if it had held those bonds to maturity, since the bank would have received the full face value of those bonds when they matured. Unfortunately, SVB's deposits began to contract when economic conditions worsened as 2022 progressed. The loss of deposits forced the bank to sell some of the bonds that it had acquired at a loss of roughly $1.8 billion. That loss caused depositors to become concerned about SVB's financial health and led to the outflow of even more deposits, as well as a plunge in the bank's share price that made it impossible for SVB to raise more capital. Suddenly, panic set in. Depositors demanded all of their deposit, deposits back, and SVB failed. It didn't take financial analysts long to realize that a large number of other banks were facing circumstances very similar to those that brought down SVB.